but Auntie Helen looked like she was angry. This is Guan Gong. It's a Chinese god, but he's actually from the story of Three Kingdoms. Nice. Hi guys, it's Cheryl. Today I'm gonna see Uncle Roger's show, Auntie Hersha Chinatown, part 1. Filled with Hersha Patel, I think the Uncle Roger story all starts from his reaction to Auntie Hersha. That is a really shock to me. I didn't know an egg flowers can be treated like that, but it's good to see them catch up together. I don't think they will have much chemistry there. Uncle Roger have a big preference on Auntie Ether. Okay, now let's go. And before the video, don't forget to give me a like or something. Subscribe if you want. Oh look, it's a tiny chip basket. <laughs> oh no no no, Uncle Roger. Oh, it's so western. Okay, so I can see this is like an Asia market cook store. Oh look, that's pretty cool. Uncle oh, Roger, yes. mom hit me with that. <laughs> is that a ladle, right? Hello, it's Uncle Roger. And Auntie Persia. Oh, this Chinatown. I think Chinatown looks similar all around the world. So there are usually many Asian restaurants and Asian supermarkets. And I've just found that there are so many Cantonese stores in Chinatown. Maybe Cantonese people just run over the world. After meeting Auntie Hersha last time, Uncle Roger realized Auntie Hersha, whitest person I know. <laughs> whitest. She whitest look indian but inside very white no culture <laughs> i don't like uncle roger's haircut the curly haircut is a little bit weird for him why are you so white <laughs> I, i know but you have kombucha in your kitchen what oh is my this God. look like dog penis in water <laughs> kombucha is so weird i don't like that did you know actually kombucha comes from china originates from china really, really? yeah see that's how cultured you are i don't know damn anyway chinatown i mean this, this is a bit of an obvious place to take i've been here at yes. least three times <laughs> Just three times? I think I go to Chinatown three times a week. And you see the lanterns behind there? <laughs> Very Chinese. For 20 years I've lived in London. What you come here for? Well, I bought edamame beans. Uh, hey, uh, what? That is Japanese. Coconut is brown on outside, but white on <laughs> yeah, inside. Yeah, I know. What that is a very good metaphor. Coconut means. So today, True. Uncle Roger gonna show Auntie Hersha my culture. Yay. <laughs> Oh, first she has Uncle a very Roger cute mask. Auntie Hersha to Chinese grocery store. Mmm, I like Chinese grocery store. The food there is not expensive, and it's good for you to cook for yourself. You can save a lot of money. I just can't imagine I spent like twelve or fifteen dollars for just a beef noodle because in my hometown it only cost fifteen RMB. I just can't spend like five times higher price for a noodle. I prefer to make it myself. Okay, Auntie Hersha, this is Chinese grocery store. Cannot get this at Tesco. <gasps> Lao Gama, yes, that's what we eat. I have Lao Gama in my home. This is chili oil with Asian face. Mm. No way you can find Asian face on chili oil in Tesco. But I have to say, my province has very good chili oil because we love spicy things. Big rice sack. When Asian people yes. buy rice, we always buy the big sack. Yes, the bigger yes. The better. And before you buy it, because you have it's to cheaper. Smack the rice, slap no. The Why do you slap the rice? It feels good. It feels good. That's and also, I like to put my hand into the rice. It's like a hand massage. That's how you practice before you start it. <laughs> I grew up in an Indian household. We used to have huge pots of rice, so... like bigger than that. So oh, bigger than in that? In our face, Uncle Rog. Oh. Okay, maybe they have more children. You know, China has a one-child policy, so I'm the only child in my family. Don't need that big rice packet. This rice can be my child. <laughs> oh no, that's so sad. Just adopt one. I feel like Asian people, they don't like to adopt kids. They like to just give birth to kids. I don't know why. Giving birth is so painful. Oh, Auntie Asia, look. It's Uncle Roger's favorite thing. MSG? I think this is a Japanese brand. Because I'm so white, I believe that MSG isn't good for you. No, no. no. I put MSG in my every meal. I'm still very healthy. Don't use MSG for an excuse. Just work hard to be healthy. It's a wrong fact. People are scared because Chinese food the best food. People cannot compete with Chinese cooking. Yes, so they say MSG yes. bad to try mm, to kill mm. our business. 
Uh, right, so that's why. Yeah. You don't know the, like, the science or the No data. need science. In Asian culture, if it tastes good, no need science. Uh, yes, yes. Uncle Roger, what's this? This it's dried fungus. <gasps> yeah, this is type of fungus. Before there was truffle, sure. there was this. Truffle is pirated version of Chinese fungus. This uh. is what you need. Rice cooker. Okay. 电饭锅, it's saying you 电饭锅, rice, rice cooker, cooker in does. Chinese. This will change your life. Uh, no more using colander. Just buy this rice cooker. Yes. Are you literally sponsored by rice cookers? <laughs> no, no, I wish. <laughs> so can you name all these people? Like, who are these people? No, these are just Chinese gods in Chinese culture. We've got too many gods. I think those I gods means they bring more children to your family. I never remember the name of my friend. <laughs> Why do I remember the name of the god? Chinese culture is the OG culture. Indian people uh. just copy, you just put more hands on your god. This is what makes oh, no. wife Auntie Helen look like when she's angry. Okay, this is Guan Gong. It's a Chinese god, but he's actually from the story of Three Kingdoms. He is a god of money, the god of courage, and maybe the god of kitchen. Auntie Hersha yeah, buying new wok. Oh, this wok this is so wok nice. Is it's so wok. big. Oh my god. That is the same wok Uncle Wang Gang used. I really like this. I might buy it. Make a bit of a egg bowl. Oh, this is home. too Just make sure you small. don't use metal spoon because this is non stick. Yeah, no, I wouldn't use a metal spoon with this one. I just know that something from the non-stick pan is a little bit toxic. It's called teflon, right? This is like a big giant colander almost. <laughs> no, that is not colander. Don't. <laughs> oh. Look at this! That it's so move. good to see Auntie Hersha's reaction. Why people reaction? Auntie Hersha, see anything with hole and she think it's calling. <laughs> this is so wrong good. With what? Oh, what? Look, it's a tiny chip basket. Oh no no oh, no! My. Uncle She's, Oh look at this! Oh look at that! She's so surprising. Your mom used to hit me with that. <laughs> oh look! That's pretty cool. Uncle Roger, okay. mom hit me with that too. Hi ya! Uh, everything in this aisle is just Asian parent weapon shop. <laughs> So dangerous. Don't bring your mom here. This is like a sword. Can you show us how? Can Next, Uncle Roger bring Auntie Hersha to Chinese bakery. Oh my Get god, some. I like that so much because this is a Cantonese style, and actually, some Cantonese style in Chinatown cook better than those in China nowadays because those immigrants from Cantonese provinces, they actually the original and traditional chefs, and they had the best recipe. Nowadays in China, they are just some like social famous bakery, and it tastes bad but expensive. Nice pastry. Oh, custard? Oh my no, God. no, no, don't use your hand. I I'm... really miss these bakeries in Chinatown. Yeah, so cheap yeah, and I, so yeah, good. Chinese bakery must use tong. Uh, and it's still the same price, contains the exchange rate, which is really amazing. Okay. Um, is there anything with it without dairy in it? I don't really see dairy. <laughs> dairy, uh -huh. I don't know. Asian people, we don't care what is in the bread. We yes, just we just make it the best flavor. Without knowing? Yeah. Sometimes you get allergy, but it's okay. We don't believe in that anyway. <laughs> That's true. Mm, like what? White people's allergies. Ah, uh, so gluten. <laughs> oh, I'm here to get Uncle Roger an egg tart. <gasps> yeah, egg Uncle tart Roger's so favorite. good. It's just basically a custard tart. No, no, no. It's like egg a tart. Portuguese custard tart. Uh -huh. Portuguese people copy Chinese people. <laughs> Why we have our bad stereotype? Of the but I think actually Portuguese tart is just from Portuguese, but Cantonese just like follow their recipe and create our new things. Chinese people make pirated DVD. <laughs> Portuguese people make pirated egg tart. Nobody complains. I thought that was glass there. I was like. This is not white people salad bar. They don't put glass. Oh, this is mooncake. All right, what is this? <gasps> cupcake. I, I don't know. It's, That's it's not saying... a cup. That is not a cupcake. <laughs> This is Chinese cupcake. <laughs> it's just a cupcake without a cup. It's okay. <laughs> I think we try we, we try our best to make Western cupcake, <laughs> but we fail. It's fun. We use cupcake. paper. We use cupcake. paper for cup. <laughs> Why is it off so hard? I'm getting used to it because we just use paper to save money. We don't use cup. White <gasps> cake. No poor bee. Okay. He's Kate. He's Maybe saying Canon. Too soon. Uncle Roger and Auntie Jenny want to keep it casual, keep it breezy. Uh, Door shut, Jen. 
Door show chair. Yeah, not expensive. What what were you just doing? It takes so long. Nothing. I was just paying for stuff, you know, in my uncultured way. Oh, that's She's so cute. What do you think of those? <gasps> Gluten and dairy, everything you don't like. Auntie Hersha, let's try the moon That's cake. Japanese, I thought. I don't often eat gluten, so this is exciting for me. Maybe you will enjoy it. What's Maybe wrong with the gluten? 50 50. Door Shao Chen. Yeah. Door Shao Chen. Door Shao Chen. You answer in Mandarin back and you're like. <laughs> no, but I'll just hand it. So it's. What, how do you say it? Nutella? Nutella. 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 No. Nutella? No way. I call it Nutella. Nutella. Have you had mooncake okay. before? Mooncake! 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 <laughs> Auntie Hersha is so excited no, all the time. It. She's so energetic. I like her. MSG purity greater than 99%. Ooh. Why are you so obsessed with MSG? <laughs> because it's the king of flavor. <laughs> with your white tongue, you won't know. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> She's no, like a no kid water. just running Get into the, the <laughs> Asian market. I'm so getting this. Hiya! Guys, this is so interesting. If I take a white friend into a Chinatown like that, she will definitely behave the same, which is really interesting. So if I would like have a Chinatown tour for my friend, I would also do the same routine. And after all that, we will go to the Cantonese restaurant to have some ding song or have some Cantonese food. I just feel like Cantonese food dominating the Chinatown. And it tastes so good. They even taste better than the Cantonese food I had in Guangzhou, China. Because those chefs have the most original recipes, right? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this with me. I really enjoy it a lot. And hope you have a good day. Maybe you can just go to Chinatown to buy some Chinese bakery or buy some cookers. Really nice, really nice. See you at the next video. Bye bye. And don't forget to give me a like or subscribe if you want.